hey Jonathan, I know you gotta get home. Are you tired, right? You tired. Alright. We went over, he went over a number of things with you. Do you understand what he asked of you? Do you understand? Do you understand what, what you are and who you are according to the Bible? Who are you? Uh, it's, it's the car. It's a car. Yeah. Of the of of the twelve tribes of Israel, right? Now, what do you, what else do you need to do next? What do you need to do next? Repent, right? Keep God's laws. Does that make sense? All right, you got to go? All right, do what you got to do, bro. Our information's on the flyer, okay? All right, call us if you got any questions. Do you have any questions before you walk away? Any questions? I was actually going to ask about that right now. Let's do that. Come on, whatever you got. I want you to interact. What questions do you got, bro? It's just I want to know you guys got this one. Where did we get this from? Okay, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. I'm going to show you where we got this from so you can understand why we have this here. All right, you ready? Here it comes. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Yeah, bring it out. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the curses that we went through, right? The things he just talked about, the conquistadors, right? The, uh, the slavery the other nations coming over and conquering us. This is how we able to identify who the 12 tribes of Israel are. Does that make sense, Jonathan? How did we get this sign, Jonathan? By identifying the signs, right? We on, what street is this right here we on? What street is this? What street is this we on? You know what street we on? El Cajon. How do we know we on El Cajon Boulevard? How do we know? How do we know that that's AutoZone? Because of the signs. How do we know you are Issachar? Because of the signs. There you go. Read the scripture again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. Yeah. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So upon you for a sign. What things are upon you? The curses of God. We're going to show you a curse of God. Jump down to what's that, 37 or 32? Which the one? Which one? The, the children. Oh, that children? 32? Yep. 32. Give me that one. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. This is very specific to your people, right? Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh-huh. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all day long. So when the, the, the so-called Mexicans cross the border with their children today, what happens to them? Why? Why do their children get taken away from them? Read the scripture again. The book of, Deuter of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who else did this happen to? When Asian people cross the border, does that happen to them? When African people cross the border, are their children taken from them? When uh, Arab people come into this country, are their children taken from them, Jonathan? Who does that happen to? Just to you people. Why, Jonathan? Because we refuse to keep God's commandments. And based on those things, we can identify who the 12 tribes of Israel are. That's how we do it. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Did that answer your question? Who are you again? From the tribe of Issachar. And we just validated that and proved that how? By the scriptures, Deuteronomy chapter 28 validates and gives us the signs, like we see AutoZone, it gives us the signs to identify who God's people are today. Right. Does that make sense? Verse 68, I'm going to get one more. You got to go, right? I want you to go. I don't want you to stay. If you, got, if you don't have no more questions, I want you to go get your rest, all right? Read the scripture. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. 68, come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. Now, how do most of your people get here? Why do they call your people wetbacks? Why do they call them that? They will cross through the Rio Grande on rafts. They will cross uh, swimming, all type of ways, right? And back, in, uh, back when Columbus came over here in the 1400s, guess what they was doing? They was coming over here and taking your people and taking them back to Europe on slave ships. So this didn't just happen to the so-called black man. Me and you, we brothers. You know what I'm saying? There's people in Mexico that's darker or as dark as me, right? Exactly, because they don't know that they are the true children of Israel. We don't know that, yeah, but we right. tell you we the same. We family. Right. We, we thought we was enemies, but we family, bro. 
Read this again. Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again yep. with ships. With ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Yep. And there you shall be sold. What happened when you got off those ships? And there you shall be sold. So when our people come over to this land today, where are they at? Where are they normally hanging out at? And your people, where do they normally hang out at? If your if if your uncle, your cousin, somebody is looking for work, where are they hanging out, Jonathan? Oh my goodness! Why, Jonathan? Why are they hanging out at Home Depot? They being sold to the who, whoever's coming in with the that got work, got paint, got woodwork, whatever it might be. They standing out there waiting to be sold to this very day. Does that does that happen to the so-called white men? Are they standing out front of Home Depot trying to find work? Does it happen to Arabs? Does it happen to Africans? Just your people, Jonathan. You standing in front of Home Depot, and your people was the one that actually owned this land. The wood that's been sold in Home Depot actually belongs to you. They should be paying you royalties, Jonathan. But because we don't keep God's commandments, we can't see these visual signs that's right in front of us. Right. Nobody else on this planet is standing outside of Home Depot looking and hunting for work besides our people. Right. Just you, just your people. If they're not standing outside of Home Depot, if they the, the, the mothers and the daughters, what are they doing most of the time? Huh? Ba babysitters, maids, stuff like that, right? Cleaning people houses. Why, Jonathan? Because our people are still being sold today in modern day slavery. We just see them standing outside of Home Depot. We just see them all as maids or babysitters. That's modern day slavery. They working for pennies on a dollar that most people would, would work hard for, that most Caucasians work hard for, and I mean, that most Caucasians work towards and get more money out of, they hire you for half or a quarter of the price. Right. Did that happen, Jonathan? Is that happening to this day, Jonathan? Give me that one in Lamentations. The end of Lamentations. Does that make sense, Jonathan, what I'm saying? How do, I, how do we know that this sign is accurate, Jonathan? How do we know? By the signs in the Bible. Yes, you got it, Jonathan. It's that simple. Now that we went through the Bible and identified that these things was going to happen to us, how do you validate and prove that these are true? You dig what I'm saying? How do you validate? How do you know that this is truth? Jonathan, we know it's truth because we live in it today. Right. You're literally living it today. Read the scripture. Watch this. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5, and verse 1. Yeah. Remember our Lord. What is come upon us, yep. consider and behold our reproach. Here it comes. Our heritage is turned to strangers. Our heritage, your heritage, the land of California, the land of Los Angeles, belonged to who, Jonathan? Before the so-called Spaniards showed up, before America showed up with something called manifest destiny, before those things show, happened, who owned those lands, Jonathan? Your people did. The Mexicans did. The so-called the, the so Mexican, the true tribe of Issachar, the children of Israel. Y'all right. owned all of this. Right. Come on, watch. Our houses to aliens. Our houses are what? To aliens. What do they call you, Jonathan? They call your people aliens. But they are the true aliens. Right they on. came and robbed, murdered, and took everything you had and called you aliens when God calls them aliens. Watch this. We are orphans and fatherless. We are what? Orphans and fatherless. Like we just went over, Jonathan, what's happening at the border? They are orphans and fatherless. Why? Not because y'all not trying to take care of your kids, but when you cross the border, they rip that baby out your arms, Jonathan. Come on. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as widows. Why? Because the men, they can't even work. They, they can't. They, they have to travel. Yeah, a lot of brothers that's at the border, right? What happens? They have to cross the border to find work. They have to leave the sisters at home all by themselves. Does that happen, Jonathan? I see it all the time when brothers and sisters cross the borders. They crossing with bags, with, with suitcases, because they not coming back. They got to leave their mothers and their daughters and their wives as widows, because they got to come over here to find work. Come on. We have drunken our water for money. We have did what? We have drunken our water for money. And we got to pay for our own water. You own all of this, Jonathan. Your people originally owned all of this. Come on. Our wood. Our what? Our wood. Our wood, Jonathan. Like I told you, the Home Depot, the Lowe's, they should be paying you royalties because y'all was here first. Right. You, you, your people originally owned this whole land, this land of California, this land of Mexico. Y'all owned all of this. Come on. All right. 
Our wood is sold unto us. Uh -huh. Our necks are under persecution. Our what? Our necks are under persecution. And your people are under persecution, like we just talked about, working for pennies on the dollar. This is biblical prophecy we reading, and you living it today. Bring your out. people are still running from ice. The right. babies are still being ripped from their arms at the border. Our people are still coming over here working for pennies on the dollar. Right. These things are still happening, Jonathan. That's how we know that this sign is relative to you because it matches the curses that you went through. Does that make sense, Jonathan? You know who you are, Jonathan. What you gonna do, Jonathan? Now what you gonna do? Go home and sleep. Go home and sleep. But I want you, when you wake up, I'm, make sure you open that flyer up, do some research, and figure out that you are the true children of Israel, all right? We got IUIC uh, on YouTube, all right? Go ahead and check it out, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.